Hey, happy Thursday. Look, I got Boop in here tonight. Boop! Hey, Boop! <laughs> what the hell do you want? Hey! I just had to give my younger son a haircut. What I mean, I, I trimmed his hair. His hair is down to his, below his waist. Now I got pumpkin too. Oh, I got everybody. Hey. Well, not literally. I have half the cats. The other two are not dead. They're just not in here right now. Evie is downstairs, and I think Marty's outside. Somebody will always ask me if the other cats have died, if they're not in, you know, the frame of whatever I'm capturing at the moment. Oh, my God, what happened to the others? When did they die? I didn't hear about that. They're not dead. They're just not in here right now. They don't travel around together. Don't look all offended just because I tried to pet you. Pumpkin and Evie, every now and then you go to pet them and they're like, ugh. Stop. Pumpkin just, it's just, it's okay, Pumpkin. No, I'm not giving you a laugh right now. Come up here. Come up here. I'm not giving you a laugh right now. So how has your day been? How has your whole week been? Shoot, I haven't talked to y'all since what? Tuesday? Monday? Maybe it was Monday. It was Monday. Oh my God. This whole week has just flown by. I do apologize. I went to uh, a different class tonight than what I normally go to. And I got home late. Or later than normal. And uh, I, I still have to take a shower. But my son, he has this really long, thick hair. And he can't, he has trouble getting all the the knots out of it so I just have to sit him down on my little stool that I use for making videos and I sit on the bed but his hair has gotten so long I think I'm gonna have to have him stand up so I can brush it now there's always at least one person who has a problem with boy a boy having long hair look I, I understand if it bothers you that my son has really long hair but it's his hair and I don't care if it's long my older son used to also have really long hair and at one point we dyed it purple we did it was he had purple hair for a little while when he was in middle school and because he said he wanted to do it I said let's do it so I got some splat uh, hair dye or whatever and we dyed his hair purple and I thought it looked pretty damn cool actually I would have done it myself but working in an office you know we couldn't do that like you can't dye your hair crazy colors or anything but I said hey you know what Enjoy it while you can, because when you're an adult, it's harder to do stuff like that. And if you want to dye your hair purple, we will dye it purple. I think we dyed it purple, and then later on we dyed it blue, I think. I think that's right. Yeah, I, I don't care. I'm not really worried about it. If they want long hair, short hair, you want to perm, you want to... I don't care. We'll do it. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. I don't get hung up on hair. You know, you wear it any way you want to. If it makes you happy, and I'm that way with most things, you know, if you're not hurting anybody and it makes you happy, I don't know why people get so bent out of shape about stuff. Let, let, just let people be. Leave them alone. I mean, do you want somebody following you around telling you how to do your life and wear your hair and do this and that? You probably get tired of it. But there's nothing under there for you. She's digging up under my, I, pumpkin's watching her. She's digging up under there. I got my new library books under the dresser here. Why don't you not mess them up? She's gonna get stuck under there. She's she does this every night. She gets bored, and she comes in here and she just messes with things, and she wants me to you know entertain her or whatever. Like I'm not gonna entertain you. I'm going out somewhere else. But um, oh I I there was something I wanted to tell you and I forgot. I finally I finally remembered to tell you. I went to the Taj Mahal Mart last weekend. It's this fa the fancy Walmart. There is a fancy Walmart pumpkin. Don't look at me like that. It's the fancy Walmart. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. There's a fancy Walmart in High Point. And I have been checking for over three years. Their, their nail polish has been unlabeled for over three years. They even remodeled the entire store and moved the nail polish to a totally different section and it was still unlabeled and I realize it's a third party that labels the nail polish but I'm going what in the hell is going on so I was in there last weekend I think and they have now labeled it so it is labeled again 
but it was totally organized. There was nothing for me to do. I, I just, I try to go by there periodically and check and it is finally labeled. It took them over three years, but it's finally labeled. It was actually before, no, it wasn't before they declared the pandemic because it was in 2020, early 2021 when I first noticed that it was, that they had removed all the labels from it. So that's cool because I always enjoyed organizing nail polish in that Walmart, but I haven't been able to in over three years because it had no labels. But I finally got to the point where I said, you know what? I was able to organize nail polish in Dollar Tree with no labels. It gave me the confidence to try it at the Taj Mahal Mart with the unlabeled nail polish. Will you quit running around? She comes in here and she's, she runs around. Look at her. You knocked over my picture. Do the thing. Do the thing. No, you won't do the thing because you're you're bored and you're just you can't get anywhere from there. That door is closed. She comes in here and this is what she does. You can't jump up there. I could if I tried. Do the parkour thing. No. She just goes around and around and around in here, just around and around the room, under things, in things, out of things. Why don't you just lay down and take a nap? Pumpkin, tell her to take a nap. Hey, Pumpkin, do you want something? I want her to lay down. So she just paces like a caged animal. She's not caged. She can, she, I don't want to open that door. You're just bored. You're going to go in there and come right back out. Why should I? Every night I go through this. Every night. What? Okay, but if I open it, you're not going to do anything in there. You're just going to go in and come right back out. <gasps> Look at her. There she goes. How long before she comes back out? She'll go in there and look at everything and see that nothing's changed and then she'll come back out. Unless she's found something to mess with. Maybe she did. Boo, please don't shred my toilet paper. It'd be really cool if you didn't do that. Anyway, she's still in there. I don't know what she's doing. She'll come back out in a minute pumpkin so I did tell you about the nail polish being labeled um, what else I'm thinking about going somewhere to make a video this weekend um, I'm not sure yet I'm gonna have to wait and see what the weather's gonna do if the weather cooperates and I was thinking about I was thinking about doing an Aldi video again like showing you my showing you my groceries people love it i don't know if people love it when i show you show you all that stuff i don't know and uh my younger son has come up with an idea for a special april the first video for next year i don't know it sound, i'm not gonna tell you what it is but i'm sitting there like i don't know if we could pull that off but he he has an idea just just forget i said that just erase that from your mind what else I, I don't really have anything else going on. My dad's coming over tomorrow. We're going out to eat. And my dad, he has simple tastes when it comes to food, but it's really hard to find. He likes vegetables, but not just any vegetables. They have to be prepared like, I don't know what you call it, home style, old fashioned. Like, don't take him any, don't take him to any regular restaurant. He doesn't like Cracker Barrel, mainly because he says it's too expensive. Um, he, he doesn't eat much meat. He mostly eats vegetables and bread. And um, so I think I found a place that we could go to. I keep trying. There was this, there was this, he likes cafeteria style places, but most of those places are gone. They've all closed down. There was one we used to go to in High Point, but it closed several years ago like two years ago at least and he really liked going there but they're not open anymore and there really aren't any other cafeterias you got k&w but they're 
God, I don't know what has happened to them. Now, we used to go to a K&W years ago when he would come to visit, but we all agreed. We went there one of the times he came here a few months ago, and, and it was just awful. I mean, everything was just so bland and tasted like hospital food. So we decided not to go there again, so I have to find somewhere else to go. But you can't take him just anywhere because they don't prepare the vegetables the way he likes them. So it is a challenge to find a place that's not expensive. Can't go anywhere expensive. Cause it, no. And the vegetables have to be prepared the way he likes them. And they're just, there aren't many places around here like that. So I know, Pumpkin, that's about how I look when I'm trying to find a place. Why do you always look so pissed off? I am pissed off. <laughs> Pumpkin? Boop went in there and got comfortable. I don't know what she's doing. I better go check. Oh my god, Boop. Look where she is. You little asshole. Get out from back there. She's purring. You're purring. What are you happy about? This is why I come in here sometimes and my clothes are just all over the place. That is not a bed, Boop. She's purring. Come down. Get down. Come on. Cat. Get out of there. What the hell are you looking at? She's not looking at me right now. Are you looking at your... Oh, are you... She sees her reflection in the mirror <laughs> behind me. I hope that's what she's looking at. It may be the ghost again. There's a ghost in this house, I'm convinced. But she's usually not the one that sees it. It's usually either uh, Pumpkin or Marty. Boop and Evie don't really ever seem to see it. Why don't you just come on down? Yeah, she's looking at her reflection in the mirror. Yeah, that's you. Do not even think about it. Cat. That's not... <sighs> you are awful. You're awful. Really? You really think I want all your damn hair on my clothes? That was Pumpkin. She's down here behind me. I see your butt. Boop. What? Pumpkin says, who cares? Stop it. Get off my sweaters! Oh my god. I don't stack them up there for your walking pleasure. Trying to make yourself comfortable? Boop. My God. You can't go any higher. That's it. You have reached the zenith. The, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not. Move. Go elsewhere. Oh my. Ugh. I'm just going to pretend I did not see you in here, okay? Turn the light off. Sometimes I go in there and I see that my clothes are all disheveled and I wonder how they get that way. I think I know now. Anyway, um, I need to go get a shower and figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow to work. Tomorrow's Friday, yay! And then my dad's coming for a visit. He has to get his hearing checked tomorrow. And then he's coming down. He's not going to be too far from here where he's going to get that done. So then he's going to come by here. He'll probably get here before I do tomorrow. But anyway, we're going to go out to eat. And that'll be cool. So, yay, it's almost Friday. Hang in there. We can make it. But thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I don't pop on here as much. I, I'm just... Oh, hey, Marty. Ma! Ah! <laughs> ah! ah! Oh, Marty. <laughs> Suddenly, I have Marty. Whoop. <laughs> Where's Evie? She's the only one we haven't seen tonight. Who let you in? My son must be here if you're in here. Because he was out... You were outside. Hey, you gonna beep at me? Beep. He beeps. He doesn't really meow. He sounds like a little bicycle. Like a beep, beep, a little horn. 
You sound like a little bike horn. Little kitty. He's getting big. Look how big he is. You're a big boy. You're a big boy. Kitty. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm going to go. I'm going to pet this cat. We do a sit. We do this thing where he comes. He wants to do a sit. Yeah, do a sit. Where he sits in my lap, and then he gets out of my lap, and then he gets back in my lap, and then he gets out of my lap. Hey. We do a sit. We do it every, usually when I get home, we come up here to my room, and we do a sit. And if I try to get up while we're doing a sit, he yells at me. He'll go, ah! That's exactly what you do. Ah! Where are you going? Yeah, anyway. But thank you so much for being here. Happy Friday Eve. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.